I'm going to do a different kind of video yet again and to be honest I've got a lot of nervous energy today. I really don't want to do the project I'm about to start and it's oh I'm just dreading it. I can paint wood but I can't cut wood very well. So my job is to hide this hideous boiler and all the pipes. In fact, everything in this kitchen is pretty hideous. We have just put up the shelves recently. There used to be a cupboard here and it ended up being like a skeleton shell and it collapsed on us two or three times, broke all of my crystal glasses. Now, the reason why we haven't spent much on doing this room, even though we've lived in this house a year now, is because every room needs some major renovations and that wall you see there is going to be completely knocked out. So can I do this boiler? I, I just don't know but I'm going to give it a go. I don't even know. I, I'm not even sure I should really be filming this. So I always thought plywood wasn't the sturdiest so I'm gonna have to paint it with some sort of water resistant paint. So luckily I found an L-shaped piece and I've rested it on some um, old painting slabs and we're going to chop this off and then I can take this into the kitchen and just get a rough idea about measuring it. We did it! It's about 53. 53! So to make sure I've got the right measurements, I'm really gutted because I can't find my quilters big plastic gridded measuring um, sheet. So the next step I'm going to show you, please try and find something better for yourself if you're doing something like this. This is hilarious. I'm actually using the biggest picture frame in the house to make sure I've got the right measurements, but I really don't entirely recommend this just in case you're measuring against something that isn't accurate. Wish me luck. Oh, there's no going back now. Get ready for it. Tea up. That's not bad. It actually jammed into place and it's stuck. I like it. I totally forgot to say that hopefully we are planning to block this um, tiny window. I think it used to maybe belong to a pantry. My fiance wants to keep it, but I'm trying to persuade him to get rid of it because I just think it's a little pointless window. It doesn't offer a great deal of light, whereas that one is the main one. Now cut another piece out, which is exactly the same width as the actual main bit. Um, so I can pop it underneath and we're going to start doing the lip thing and then have another piece of wood just there. So I've got a piece of wood. I've just found, found any old piece of wood in the shed to attach the two because nobody's going to see that. Where's the screwdriver? So it's screwdriver time. I've never used a screwdriver to screw wood together, believe it or not. I've got a lip underneath and then I've managed to attach another piece of wood there because I'm about to cover all the pipes with a very long piece of wood up to those pipes there. So out comes the saw again. So it's cut out and I've laid it flat and I'm gonna screw again. Well that's a bit awkward. I can't get it in because it's far too close to the wood. So unfortunately I've had to unscrew this, it's really not big enough, I need something chunkier so luckily I've got some spares. So we're now on day two of this project, I did think it would be finished yesterday but it got quite late and I realised I needed to start tea. So when my fiancé got home I was actually on the telephone at the time and I asked him to look for a longer piece instead to attach to this. Oh by the way it's really really hot today so I've had to change clothes because I was working with sweat. and. I didn't realise about the London bracket underneath, so I've had to spend the last half an hour with a junior axaw and sawing away, chipping at it, so it goes underneath and we can try and get as much workspace as we can. And we've had a talk about what colour we want it. Ideally I really wanted white because anything dark would make it look small, but I do have a lot of blackboard, um, black paint left over, 
and I think it would be really cool to have a chalkboard in there so I can write down any shopping lists that I need at least for now until we completely renovate the kitchen properly and that means I'm gonna have to change my clothes all over again <laughs> Time for round two, baby. Seriously, now is the time to be painting outside. By the time I finish the second one, the other one was touched dry, so I don't have to wait half an hour. Brilliant. And there you go, a temporary frugal boiler cover. I did also contemplate buying a wooden trim for it, but then my fiance thought about using the length side of chalk and I think that is just fine for now and it saves so much money and I love its rustic sort of school teachery feel to it and now it matches my new upcycled herb planters and of course I absolutely love this I can plan food for the week and he's cheekily put takeaway every day and I've just crossed it off because it's not getting it and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet I may cut a piece of wood there or try and find some little drawers that'll fit in but at the minute I'm perfectly hiding my tea and coffees in there I did it and it didn't cost me any extra at all because we use absolutely everything from around the house so I'm very very pleased and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching